Okay, so this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to do nodal analysis easily. Um, the first thing we want to do is we want to identify our nodes, um, and we want to identify our ground node. The ground node is going to be the node that has the most wires connected to it. So today we're going to pick this as the ground node, though we could pick any position as the ground node. Now we're going to label our other nodes. We have a VA. We're going to have a V1 here, and then we'll have our VO here. As you can notice, we labeled these nodes the same things as the voltages that we have here and here. This is because um, since those ones are connected from that point to the reference point or the ground, it makes them that voltage. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start at VA. And we're going to do VA over this resistor R1 minus whatever voltage is at the bottom over here. Since we have ground down here, we know that the voltage at ground is going to be zero. So we'll do minus zero. And then we add that to VA over the resistor R3 minus the voltage on the other side of that resistor. So it's going to be VA minus the V1 over R3. Now we're going to do the next wire right here, and that's going to be um, VA over the R2 minus the voltage on the other end of that. So we have VA minus the VO over R2. And this is going to be equal to zero. Next, we're going to focus on another node. Let's do V1 at this point. So we're going to have V1, and as we can notice, it's already over the voltage right here. We could say this is like a 12 volts or anything right there. And V1 is automatically going to be set equal to that voltage because it's between that node and the reference or ground node. So V1 is equal to 12 volts or whatever I had set equal to V1. Um, now we're going to focus on VO. For VO, we have VO over R5 minus whatever it's connected to. Down here, it's connected to the reference or ground node, which has a voltage of 0. So we're going to do minus 0. And we're going to add that to VO over the next resistor, which is R4 minus the voltage that's on the other side of that resistor, which is V1 at this point. Now we're going to do VO over the resistor R2 minus whatever voltage is on the other end of that resistor, which is going to be VA, and that's going to be equal to zero. Now that we have these three formulas, this one, what V1 is equal to and one with VA, we can put those in a matrix and we can solve for them very easily.